Hi guys, it's Ask the Lawyer here, and today I'm back with new stories for you. So, the first story is about how much of an impact divorce of parents can have on their kids. And is the parents divorce the kids' business as well? Let's go to the first story and see what happened in OP's life that she allowed herself to call her mother a W. I am the oldest daughter of four children. I'm currently 25. Second oldest is 23, third is 20, and youngest is 18. When I was eight years old, my mom had an affair with a family friend. I, being the oldest, has remembered most of it, and my younger siblings only remember growing up with our parents co-parenting. This has put a strain on my mother's and I's relationship. She cheated on my father, who was battling cancer. She didn't even try to keep it a secret from the kids. I remember during family friend gatherings when everyone would be inside and I'd see my mom and the family friend kissing or doing things in the pool. As a kid, I didn't understand, but as I got older, I realized what she was doing in front of us and I feel sick. People ended up catching on to their affair years later and my mom left my dad and started a new relationship with this family friend. They split up shortly after that because he cheated on my mother. I've confronted her about this after my dad passed, and we all went to see a family therapist. This was roughly three years ago. My mom has since remarried to an incredible man, but recently she was out and bumped into this man from her past. They exchanged emails and she confided in me that they had been sending emails back and forth and are planning to meet up to chat and catch up. I read the messages, and it's very apparent that the guy still has feelings while my mom is trying to make it seem like she's just catching up with an old co-worker. But I know my mother, and I know she is still slightly infatuated with this man, and flattered that he still wants her. I mean, it's been years. Why else would you want to catch up? My new stepdad knows about her past, and while he doesn't agree with it, it's been years. He wasn't in her life yet. She asked me what I thought about her meeting up with him, and I said something along the lines of needing closure. She asked for my honest opinion about the matter, and I told her. To be honest, Mom, you dealing with this guy in the past ruined yours and Daddy's marriage, and you guys had four kids. I don't know why you think it wouldn't ruin this one, but why don't you stop being a W and stop thinking with your P and delete this guy's damn email? She cried, and she couldn't believe I just called her a W and left my house. We haven't spoken for a few days. Today, I got a call from my siblings saying I hurt my mom's feelings and whatever happened between her and daddy's marriage was between them. I disagree. I had to witness my mom cheating on my father. I watched him die in bed while she was off to God knows where with this man. She asked for my opinion, and my opinion is that she's selfish and a W who left my dad to die on his own and she wants to rekindle with this man and possibly cheat on my new stepdad. Sorry I'm not sorry for feeling some kind of way about it. Wow, that was brave, guys. I think all the pain OP was feeling through all these years came out with these words she said to her mom. I in no way agree with the siblings, saying that whatever happened between their mother's and daddy's marriage was between them. That's so not true. OP saw her mom cheating on her dad. It made a big impact on her, as I'm sure it would on everybody. Cheating affects children very much. OP told the truth to her mother. I'm not surprised mother is upset because it is an ugly truth and you can't be angry about it. I'm 31 male and I have a brother, 35, and sister-in-law, 29. I also have a partner, we're gay, and we've been planning on buying a house for the past five years. We've been saving up money and we finally have enough to get a house without a loan. We didn't tell anyone about it all these years, but we started going on house tours and asking if people know someone who's selling a house, and it got back to our families. My brother and sister-in-law have been in a difficult financial situation for about two years, ever since they got married and exactly because of it. I think they spent about 90,000 euros. It was a destination wedding, and they said they don't want any gifts, they just want people to show up, i.e. pay for their own plane tickets and stay at a hotel so they didn't get any money back from it. They're totally broke, and their fixed monthly expenses are making them poorer and poorer. Their bills are huge because their house is huge, their mortgage is huge, they have two cars, only one of which they need. Only he works and his pay isn't great, but they just generally spend a ton of money on eating out and traveling. But ever since she got pregnant, they've been freaking out. 
As soon as my parents found out about my savings, they told me I should give them to my brother. I said no. Then he talked to me and asked me to lend him a bit of money. I asked how much, and he said 50,000 euros, and I said no. I said I could lend him 5k for baby stuff, but not more than that. He got mad at me and trash-talked me to our whole family, saying I won't help him out because I'm holding a grudge against him for his homophobic behavior towards me when we were younger. Which isn't the reason, and he's still homophobic, but that's beside the point. I told my parents I just can't lend him 50,000 euros after my partner and I spent five years saving to get our own place. We're incredibly close to getting it, and I won't put it off. For context, we saved up about 200,000 euros in five years, and not because we have super high-paying jobs, but because we ate rice and never went anywhere. My parents think my boyfriend and I are selfish douchebags for putting a house before two babies. At the moment, nobody from my family is talking to us, except my sister-in-law, who sometimes calls me, cries on the phone and begs me to forgive my brother for how he's treated me and refuses to accept I'm not doing this because of that. I told her I think they're irresponsible with money and that they don't need that much of it and I keep offering her the 5k that she doesn't seem to want unless it's attached to another 45k. She keeps trying to convince me they'll use the money to pay off their mortgage and get a fresh start, but I'm not buying it. Even if she was honest, that would mean another year and a half of eating rice and not going anywhere for my boyfriend and me, and I don't want to do that anymore. Editing to add, she's pregnant with twins. I totally forgot to point that out, and I keep talking about two kids. Wow. Okay, guys. So, me personally, I wouldn't even give them 5K. For starters, it's just not OP's money. It belongs to him and his partner. Secondly, giving him money would be enabling his crappy decisions. He needs to hit rock bottom. Lastly, why are these idiots having kids if they can't even afford their own lifestyles? Basically, a few years ago, my sister, 26, met my future brother-in-law, 25, and they began dating. The family all met him, and everyone loved him. He and I clicked and quickly became close friends. Hunting together, he'd help me with my car, I'd help him with projects in his garage, etc. Safe to say, we were great friends. Well, a little under two years ago, future brother-in-law cheats on my sister. She was devastated, obviously, and left his ass. For over four months, my parents and I helped comfort her and support her, but damn, she was a wreck. I love my sister and have never seen her so distraught. Obviously, the whole family found out why they broke up, and needless to say, everyone hated him. Our friendship ended the day they broke up, and I honestly thought I'd never see him again, and my sister would eventually find herself a good man. Well, that didn't ducking happen. A year ago, sister announces to the family that she and brother-in-law are back together, that they ran into each other and got to talking, and she's decided to reconcile. Parents are wary, but supportive, but I was disgusted. So now it's today, and brother-in-law has accompanied sister to every family event since then. It's been awkward to say the least. Everyone is nice enough to him, but it's clearly not as warm as it was back when they were first dating. For my part, I just ignore him whenever he's nearby and keep interaction with him to an absolute minimum. He's definitely been affected by it and I can tell he wants to reconnect and make good, but I'm not entertaining it. Things come to a head last weekend when it was announced that sister and brother-in-law are engaged. They let us know at a family dinner for Father's Day and everyone was excited. Everyone except me. I don't know how he's tricked her into this, but he's still the piece of crap who hurt my sister and I'll never consider him family. But after they were done, he asked me if he could talk to me alone. He acknowledged the elephant in the room, that he's hurt sister and our family, but that he'd like to make amends and heal his relationship with us since our families were about to merge. I unloaded on him. I told him in no uncertain terms that I don't care how he got back with my sister, that he's a piece of crap and always will be, that my parents and I will never see him as a member of the family, and that my sister deserves better than to spend the rest of her life with a S-bag like him. He didn't say anything, just got real quiet and went back and rejoined the others. Today I get a call from my sister crying and cussing me out. Apparently, I had an impact 
because brother-in-law called off the wedding, saying he's not good enough for sis. True, that he loves her, but she should spend her life with someone who her family will accept, and that's not him. Now my sister's not talking to me and my parents, and brother thinks I crossed the line and are calling me an idiot for sabotaging their relationship. I think they're being hypocrites. I don't know. Am I the idiot in this? Edit 1. I shouldn't have spoken on behalf of my parents. I admit my fault there. Edit 2. A lot of people are wondering why he left my sister so quickly after I confronted him. Honestly, I'm not 100% sure. But when I say me and brother-in-law were thick as thieves, I mean it. We told each other everything. I was there for him when his parents were hospitalized, car accident, both survived. I told him my secrets and he told me his. I don't think it's a stretch to say he valued my judgment and cares a lot about how I see him. Edit 3. I'd also like to add that prior to his cheating on my sister, I honestly thought he was one of the best human beings I'd ever known. The type of guy who'd give you the shirt off his back if you asked. I loved him like a brother. That's what made this betrayal so painful in the first place. Okay guys, I don't think OP is an idiot, except that he spoke for all of his family and made it seem like the entire family was against him when really it was just OP. I can understand that OP feels like he was also betrayed by brother-in-law. Also, he saw his sister suffering. I also think brother-in-law gave up the wedding very easily. If I want to be with a person, I would try my best to make it work especially when OP's sister forgave him. What do you think, guys? I moved into a new apartment building about a month ago. It's a doorman building, and most of the doormen are really nice. I always say a pleasant, hi, how are you? Have a nice day, evening, to them when I leave or enter the building, but I don't stop to chat with them as I have seen some of the other residents do. One of the doormen, whose shifts coincide with my coming home from work, has a habit of trying to strike up a conversation with me as I'm almost out of the lobby and heading down the hallway to the elevator. Like, he'll shout out a question to me or comment about the weather or something. I usually, pleasantly, shout back an answer and keep walking to the elevator, as I'm always exhausted after work and I just want to go to my apartment and relax. The other day he shouted out to me, Come here, Miss Pretentious. So this time I turned around and walked over to the front desk and said politely, what did you call me? He then proceeds to say I'm pretentious and obviously think I'm better than everyone else in the building because I won't stop to talk to him or the other doorman. His tone wasn't angry or mean really, just kind of jokey but in a condescending way. I politely explained that it's not because I think I'm better than everyone, but that I'm just really tired after work and want to go home. I also said I find it weird that he always tries to talk to me as I'm almost out of the lobby, thereby necessitating me turning around and walking back into the lobby in order to have a conversation, if I wanted to. He ended by saying that I won't fit in with the culture of the building if I keep on refusing to talk with the doorman. I told him, again politely, that I wasn't really interested in fitting in with the culture of the building and told him to have a good night and then I walked away. Since then, I have seen this doorman twice, and both times he has greeted me with, Hello, Miss Pretentious. Same jokey, condescending tone. As I walk into the building, I have completely ignored him both times. I feel like I should probably talk to him and tell him I don't appreciate being called that. But honestly, I just want to report him to a supervisor, as I'm getting sick of dreading walking into the building, and I feel like I shouldn't have to deal with that in my own home. Okay, building. So will I be the idiot if I just go ahead and report him? I don't want to get him fired or anything, but I do want him to stop. Guys, I'm sure his job description doesn't include judging or insulting the tenants. I don't think that OP will be the idiot if she reports him. I so understand her, that she is tired and doesn't have time for chatting with the doorman, and it doesn't mean she thinks she's better than everybody else, and she doesn't need to be explaining herself why she can't or doesn't want to be chatting with him. Dorman just rude. I have never had a good relationship with my in-laws, and they have never liked me since day one. They were rather supportive during the pregnancy, as this is their first grandchild. I've only put up with them because my husband is close with them and always will be. The first day of me being in labor, my in-laws came by. 
We didn't want them in the room while I delivered. He broke the news to them, and he said it went well. It was his mother, father, and his two brothers, 11 and 16. My mother was still driving up during this time. It was okay for a while, but my father-in-law and brother-in-laws started asking really inappropriate questions. Things about my parenting skills, my weight, and my V. Eventually, the nurse told them they had to leave because they were being loud and were disturbing other people. They left, upset, but would be back after the baby was born. About 10 hours later, my mother arrived, and I was about ready to push. My husband told me he didn't think it was fair his parents weren't going to be there and wouldn't let up on it. Finally, I told him fine, because it was their grandchild too, and I did feel bad about my mother-in-law not being there, because I actually did like her. She just has no control over her sons or her husband. Mother-in-law and father-in-law showed up around the time I started pushing. Five minutes in, I heard father-in-law giggling, and I snapped, and told mother-in-law and father-in-law to get the duck out, and don't ducking come back until visiting hours. I heard a lot of commotion, but my mother was just keeping me focused on pushing. Eventually everything was done, and I had a beautiful boy, and my husband and I just enjoyed our brand new baby and finally got some sleep. The next day, my family and our close friends came, but none of his family did. He was upset for sure. Around 12 p.m., texts started rolling in from his extended family about how it was horrible what I did, and they would not be coming to see us or our baby. My husband was horribly upset. His brother, 22, who is in Japan with the Air Force, he is a year apart from, and they have a very close relationship, told him he was cutting contact with him over this, and so was his mother, father, and other brothers. My husband is devastated. It's 3 a.m. now, and he left and told me he'd be back tomorrow to come pick us up. My husband keeps saying, how could I tear this family apart like this? And his father laughs like that when he cries, because he was so happy to have his first grandchild. I feel so horrible about it now, and I didn't mean to cause all this. I was pissed, and am still pissed about the immature questions they were asking, but now I am conflicted as to if I reacted in the correct way about it. So am I the idiot? What do you think, guys? To be honest with you, me personally, never understood the wish of in-laws to be in the delivery room. I understand OP's mother, but all of husband's family, really? OP is definitely not the idiot. Her husband is for not kicking out his awful parents. Husband's responsibility should have been to back up OP 100% while she was going through a horrifically painful, traumatic, emotional, and dangerous experience. And instead, he was worried about mommy and daddy's feelings.